stinking trash. Maybe Prickly ought to try taking him out the morning after Sloppy Joe Day. Hmm, somebody left the lid off of this thing. Dracula's the scariest monster of all time. Dracula? Are you kidding? He bites you neck, you live forever. Now Frankenstein gets a hold of you, you're gone. Sure, but how do you get caught by the slowest monster in history? Ask the villagers. Oh, wait, he can't. They will all rip the shreds. What about the werewolf? Werewolf? It's Dracula. Hello, flying monkeys. Stop it, guys. You're scaring me. Oh, come on, Gus. They're not real. There's no such thing as monsters or ghoulies or things that go bump in the night. <laughs> from that trash can? Let's get out of here. No, wait, there it was again. Hold me, TJ, I'm scared. Oh, brother, move aside, you wimps. Don't do it, Spinelli. You can get your guts torn out or your face sucked off or, or... Gus, please, Spinelli is right. There's no such thing as... <laughs> hey, it's a kitty. Isn't he cute? Cute? He's hosting a bug convention. Hey, Mike, I think he likes you. And I like him, too. He's my friend. I'm gonna name him for Fuzz Stewart. Yeah, that's it, Stewart the Cat. Stewart? Hey, Stewart. Hi, Stu. Nice to meet you, man. Yo, Stewie. Oh, brother. How do we know he doesn't belong to somebody? Elementary, Gus. He'd have a color. Not to mention math. Hey, I got an idea. Now he belongs to us. We can take him everywhere we go. Great. Only how are we going to explain him to Miss Crokey? Oh, I see what you mean. Why can't we just leave him here? You know, see Stuart when we come out to recess. But what if Hank finds him? He'll turn him into the office and they'll send him to the pound and you know what happens there. Yeah, cats check in, but they don't check out. We got to do something, you guys. Okay, stick Stuart in here and let's go. It's going to be okay, little buddy. You're with friends now. In order to explain global warming, I've drawn this simple diagram. This is the sun, these are the sun's rays, and these are all the little ozone molecules being eaten up by fluorocarbons produced by evil industrialists. That's a really big problem. This little drawing represents the smoke and comes from coal and other dirty fossil fuels. Over here, you see the Mikey! Keep the desk closed. Okay, okay, don't worry. And this little cow represents the Brazilian beef concerns. What's wrong? Just a little gasp, Miss Grokey. But I feel better now. Good. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the evil corporate polluters. Anyway. Mm. You okay, man? No. Well, it seems I've really inspired some action today. I think. Stuart! Stuart! He could be in trouble, guys. Oh, why did I open that desk? Why? Don't worry, Mikey. We'll find him. Vince, you and Gus go this way. Gretchen, you and Mikey go that way. Spinelli, you're with me. <sighs> I knew that cat was going to be trouble. <laughs> cats? Ain't no money in cats. However, I am running a special on cat food. Check it out. You fiend! Don't worry, fishies. I'll be back to free you later. I charge bleeding hearts extra. I gotta look under the hat. I'm afraid that is quite impossible. Spinelli. Wait! I do not condone violence, especially against myself. Candy bars? Winger dingers? Come on. Men cannot live on tofu alone. Hey, Sam! These guys want to see the cat we found. Sure! Now, where did I put it? Oh, yeah, here he is. Ain't she a beaut? Um... That's not exactly what we had in mind. No luck here. Us neither. Where, where could my little cat be? Oh, what a cute little baby. Oh. <laughs> you don't think. Is he not like full on adorable? The total baby. Like a goo goo gaga. I wonder if he wets. Good sweet Mike, what have you done to him? Like have a cow. He's our cat. Your cat. He's ours. He's not. He's two. He's not. You've done us. Why, you little? There's no time for that now. Come on. Hey, a cat.
system again. And whose fault is that? All right, Powder Puff, that's it! Wait, you guys hear that? Drums. It's the kindergartners. What are they saying? Well, according to my research on the primitive grades, I'd say the drums are announcing snack time. Uh-oh. Snack time, all right! I hope they save some for me. Now, Cookie, eat! Just what I thought. They're fattening him up. Fattening him up? Why would they want to do that? Wait, we can't afford to lose both of you. Kindergartners! Ooh, big kid. Real big. Hey, Tubby, that your daddy? I come in peace. You giant king of big kid land. If I weren't seeing it with my own eyes, I'd never believe it. That's it. I'm getting our cat. What's Vanelli? Our two peoples have much in common, like a love of cute furry animals and... <gasps> Spinelli, no! You big dope, I almost had him! Stuart, wait! Get that cat! Wait for me! Tell me your tiny bird. Brickley's office. If he catches Stuart, who knows what cruel, vicious things he'll do? Ah! A cat! Get it away from me! Get it away from me! To the front door! Ah! Miss Lemon! Miss Lemon! I'm being attacked! Ah! Wait, get animal control on the phone! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this, do that. Why can't they leave an old lady alone? Oh, what's Prickly yelling about now? Ah! Get the cat, Finster! Animal control is on their way! Sloppy Joes. Why not Tidy Joes? Hey, Hank, stop that feline mystery! Wait. Huh? The cat! Pull that dumpster away so we can get that cat! Wait! Please, please, just leave the poor guy alone! Leave him alone? Are you crazy? You don't understand, Principal Prickly. Stuart's not just a cat, he's a living being. He's got rights and feelings just like we do. I mean, just because he's small and we're big doesn't mean we have the right to treat him like a toy. We ought to be ashamed of ourselves, jamming him into backpacks, dressing him up like a doll, chasing him, even trying to eat him. But we not eat Kitty. We feed him. We love Kitty. You do? Oh, well, that changes everything. Hank, move the dumpster. No! Hey, no! Well, I'll be. Look, kittens! Well, what do you know? Stewart's a Stella. What? Kittens? I, I don't understand. There was just one, and now there's... All right, people, move aside. Prickly, we're with Animal Control. It's about time you people got here. Been a busy day, Pops. So where's this rabid feline you called about? Principal Prickly, you can't do this! Quiet, boy. That filthy creature agitated my work, destroyed school property, and put the whole student body at risk of cat scratch fever. And... He jumped over that fence behind the ball diamond ten minutes ago. Now go get him. <laughs> you kidding? We ain't jumping no fences. If he's gone, he's gone. Come on, Lars. It's donut time. Well, don't just stand there, Finster. These kittens need milk. Hank, have we got some old blankets around? The poor little things look cold. <laughs> Couldn't have turned out any better than this. Yeah. Since the vet says the kittens are old enough to be weaned, those little Stuarts and Stellas will never be lonely again. Oh, Muffin, you are so totally an autumn, just like me. Does Mommy love a real baby? Oh, wish she does. Oh, wish she does. Look at this little guy, Fenster. He's a genius, I tell you, a little genius. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. They're all going to nice homes. Especially you. You're coming with me. What's that, girl? Well, okay, but just this once. <laughs> 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 